This map contains two polygon layers, Norway land in light green and Norway minor islands in dark green. For your project, it would be easier to manage all of the polygons in a single layer. You will use the Merge Geoprocessing tool to create a new layer containing all of the land areas. This tool combines multiple input layers into a single new output layer. The input layers must be of the same geometry type, for example, polygons and polygons. For input dataset, choose Norway Land and Norway Minor Islands. The output dataset field updates to Norway Land underscore merge. Click it. A path is revealed. By default, the new layer will be stored in the project's geodatabase. You'll accept the default location and name for the output dataset. If you know that your input layers have all matching fields, you can run the tool now. However, often you need to merge layers with non-matching fields. That is the case here. You'll use the field map parameters to make sure that the layers are merged correctly without losing any important attribute information. Under Output Fields, click Feature Class. The To label tells you that there are two source fields contributing to this output field. The information under Source tells you that both input layers have fields named Feature Class. The contents of these two fields will be merged into a new Feature Class field in the output layer. Click Min Zoom. There is only one source for this field from the Norway Land layer. You'll view the attribute tables of both layers to see if the Norway Minor Islands layer has an equivalent field, perhaps with a different name. The Min Zoom and Zoom Level fields contain similar information. You'll merge these two fields into one in the output layer. In the Geoprocessing pane, under Source, click Add New Source. Click Norway Minor Islands and check the Zoom Level checkbox. Click Add Selected. Now both the Min Zoom and Zoom Level fields will contribute to the new field in the output layer. Click Orage underscore FID. Only one of the tables contains this field. You don't need this field in your new layer, so you'll remove it. Also remove the Zoom Level field. You have already included the Zoom Level values in the Min Zoom field. The last field without a two label is Name. In the Attribute tables, you can see that many of the minor islands have a recorded name, but no name field is present in the Norway land layer. You'll keep the name field as an output field. It is okay that it has only one source field. Leave the add source information to output checkbox unchecked. This is unnecessary here because you already have a field, feature class, which tells you whether the source layer was land or minor island. Click run. The tool runs and a new layer named Norway Land underscore Merge appears in the contents pane. A warning appears at the bottom of the geoprocessing pane. The merge was not successful. On the map, you can see that the minor islands are still dark green. They were not included in the merged layer. You'll read the warning to find out what went wrong. The warning message says, Failed on input OID 10, could not write value minor island to output field feature class. You'll investigate the feature class field for the cause of this message. Under source, nothing looks unusual. Click properties. Here you can see that the field's type is text and its length is 11. These properties were borrowed from the first input dataset, Norway land. 11 characters is long enough to store the word land, but not long enough to store minor island. For length, type 12. You'll also change the name and alias so the meaning of this field is more clear in the output data set. Click Run. The Norway land underscore merge layer on the map refreshes. Because you did not change the name of the output dataset, the one you created earlier was overwritten. This time, it covers all of the islands. 
Open the attribute table for the Norway land underscore merge layer. Scroll through the table to confirm that it contains features from both input layers and that the fields were merged correctly. You have merged two polygon layers into one new layer. You used a field map to determine how mismatched fields would be merged and formatted in the new layer.